Whoa. I went too close to him. Right now, I need to go hit him side by side so I can get the shotgun shots in. Stage killers are probably the best time to do this. Okay. Yeah, and if I want to wander, I have to go left to right to get the shotgun stream going. And a little cherub things are showing up. And there's another lantern down. Thanks for messing around with more Vampire Survivors. This time Lance Bean is going to be heading over to Capella Magna. Maxing out cooldown with the short gun, grabbing the long gun, and grabbing the spread gun to cut out as much pain as fast as possible. And as demonstrated, things are always going to be pro. I didn't grab Heart of Fire, I grabbed Sun Old Sanctuary. What the heck are you doing to me? I need Bracer to evolve. There's spread shot already. Oh, yep, this is already turning around ASAP. Yeah, it turns out having gun is a very good thing for a character you have. Spread gun is, or short gun is still gonna be absolutely terrible. But between spread gun and long gun, he'll be able to pull out enough damage to get that, really get that cooldown bonus going. He doesn't even have very good shortgun doesn't even have very good damage to compensate and its pierce is terrible. It's just a very bad weapon. The only re and I, honestly, if it wasn't stuck on pure horizontal, I might even put it better than diver mines. That's how low I think of diver mines. But it is stuck to pure horizontal attacks, so you know, it's even worse. That evolves. All the chests on Capella Magna evolve at any time, and on inverse, it'd be even faster. So, let's try and, you know, get a gun ASAP. Which one's closest? The short gun, actually. I don't know if I can get Prototype C right away. Maybe the gun can pull something off. That's Lance Bean's special ability. After enough kills, he will gain stats. He will gain... Projectile speed and he will gain cooldown reduction and cooldown reduction is amazing As is getting a two-minute evolution Prototype B is still the worst of them because shortgun is still the worst, but hey It's an evolution this fast in So all good I'm right, gonna get long. Oh, I'm just gonna grab whichever one oh, I'll probably should grab the weapon first obviously evolve it ASAP Get them nice and comparable. So if I wanted to really compare them, I would wait till I have three chests on the map before I do anything. Actually, that should be done for next time. Full on comparison. Wait, no. I'm going to Astral Stare. That doesn't have early evolutions. Oh well. Maybe I'll lose and then can pull it off. Alright, one more on the spread again. Spread shot. I can always call it spread gun. Why is it spread shot? It's Operation Guns. It should be a gun. Even if it is a gun. There's fire support. Yay, long gun. That's basically your benefit there. That cooldown go. And because it's Capel Magna, I can limit break right away. You don't have to dink around with anything. It's so nice. Just chew through things with no trouble like this. And it's on Capella Magna, the most difficult of the base stages. And there's my delicious empty tome maxed out. There's my delicious empty tome maxed out. Look at that cooldown go. What? Oh, candy box. Hi, candy box. How are you doing? And, well, I can't really think of much more. I guess I could have gone spinach for damage, but it didn't seem that helpful. Well, throwing this box would probably have been better. Get damage, get some might, and get some area on it. Oh, right. I still don't have a long gun. Yeah, well, six minutes is coming off. That means the next chest is... Oh, there you are. There we go. There's all prototypes done. Now we'll see how fast they power up. 
Hey, duplicator. Oh, the map that has an eight duplicator. So if I had grabbed the duplicator and gotten it, that would have been another power up. That would have been very nice to have. Oh well, third wave rules on the Beswick. Three weapons, three passives, three arcanas, three stages. Hey, Pierce, nice. I try to level up as evenly as I can. Also go punch the Atlanteans in the face because they aren't going to stand up to this much firepower. Somewhat literally. Hey, rapid fire. Yeah, 117. Look at them Melises, they're barely showing up on screen. Yeah, Lance is strong, it's just shortcut is so bad. I think I could actually put in a notification that's worse than Corelo, right? This Corelo is at least full screen even though it does nothing. Like, I can't even tell which projectiles here are from Prototype B and Shortgun. The giant energy beam from Mega Man X there is Prototype A. I can still see the Prototype A long gun shots. You know, those little poopy blue things coming out. Those must be the shortguns from the drones. Now the wave clear is excellent, but the damage is going to fall off eventually. And it's very bad because it's Capel Magna. Well, your volume of shots is power on its own. Oh, hey. The random pickup. Hey, what is this? This can't be light sources. Light sources doesn't do that. Also, you know, you'd see the light sources. Yep, blow them all up. And once we start getting the demon priests, though, it'll be a lot more dangerous. Huh. There's another candy box. Jeez, what the heck kind of luck is that? Where are you, Metaglio? Are you seriously over here? Hey. The uh, area on C is probably the most helpful. I'll try to keep them leveled evenly, but, you know, there's some things that are just more valuable to have. Huh, what's that effect sitting there? Is that a glitch, or is that actually something? Oh no, it is something. Well, it may be a glitch that is something. A visual glitch, I meant. Wow, they're just flying so fast, the Atlantans stunned. Pierce is the most valuable, so that will be the one I grab, even if it takes them offside. You actually have the least. Mm -hmm. They're even for now. Well, that was not helpful. That's a lot of levels gathering up. All right, can I keep you locked? Yeah, planting went down, no trouble, nice. Hey, Arcana chest. And what am I gonna grab? Uh, da -da -da. Sweet. This bouncy shots all three of them. Ooh, that'll turn it into a nice little lag fest. Oh, no choice there. Hey, money. I need money again after I spent it all on golden eggs for Brad Fang out of basically nowhere. You are the lowest. Wait, why are they at six? Oh, right. Because the base eight counts as levels for the base guns. How does the bouncy shots for the prototype B work? It's really not going to hit anything ever. There's Metaglio, and there's Atlantean. Man, they can't do anything against this level of knockback in their face. It's literally stun-locked. And I'm releasing on the back end, so nothing's hurting me. Wow, that DPS was incredibly fast. Yeah, he's hit 90 cooldown reduction. That's the most you get. 
Break it out. Mountain Pierce are the most valuable, so I will grab them, even if it breaks the even. Just because, well, I still can't afford to not have it. What am I going to call this video? Endless Bullets with Lance Beam. Max cooldown is Endless Bullets. Now think, imagine how bad it would be if he, how overpowered it would be if I could actually go to maximum power. Instead, I have this half-baked thing going. Oh, wow. Well. Oh no, they're just getting torn up before they get to me. It's just... Oh no, they actually hit me. Well, I haven't seen any barriers, huh? Well, as long as I keep on a straight and narrow path, it'll be fine. Man, it's like a corridor death. But this isn't... These are a durable wave. Not the most dangerous, but they are the start of when things get dicier. Well, the fact that they have knockback resistance is really what helps them. Obviously, these things here... I just do a circle and bam, they're all... They're all... Nothing. Hmm, they could stack on the rosaries. For defensive purposes. I mean, I've got four revives because of all the weapon pickups, which is good. Kills aren't going up as fast as they were. This is good for taking out lots of chaff against more durable things that show up here in Capella Magna. It's much worse. Well, actually, no. It's outright damage on even one target is good. It's just eventually... One target will be many targets. Okay, what's the lowest? You're the lowest. You're also the worst less one. Is your A, B? No, wait, I got C, B, A here. I don't have the cab. I don't have the cab at all. Yeah, if I circle it, I get more kills. Da -da -da. Got two, three candy boxes and a duplicator. Good grief. That's insane luck. So if I was on math, that would have been another power. Well, it would probably have been a crown or a tier Jisoo, just knowing. How things can never go well. Shooting bad guys. Wait, no, what if they're the good guys? Obviously, this is the holiest of holies. Uh-oh. If they get in close like that, then they're going to concentrate the bouncy shots a lot. Now I'm taking damage. Not a good sign. You really want to only start taking real damage at either the start when you're forced to, or when the like big demons start showing up. Here's the medium demon. Okay, which one's lowest? Oh, your prototype C. Wait, so I have BCA. But I had CBA. Well, I guess shortcut makes sense for Brown. It's a turd. I mean, it's doing the most upfront damage, but well, I mean, I think it's doing the most upfront damage. It's kind of hard to tell at this point. Oh, hey, a rosary. Oh, Atlantean. Actually, I don't want to deal with the Atlantean. It's too dangerous. You just focus on one target. Why am I trying to go to it anyway? Oh, hey, that's all my level ups. Alright, this is time for some might. Hmm? That wasn't might. That wasn't might at all. You need area, the mount, and pierce are still more valuable. <laughs> Alright, there's the last arcana chest eyeball. 
Whoa. I went too close to him. Right now, I need to go hit him side by side so I can get the shotgun shots in. Stage killers are probably the best time to do this. Okay. Yeah, and if I want to wander, I have to go left to right to get the shotgun stream going. And the little cherub things are showing up. And there's another lanting down. Concentrated DPS is actually pretty incredible. That's what no cooldown gets you. And it's on inverse Capella Magna, too. That's a pretty strong performance of from Lance Bean here. He's truly part of the Vampire Survivors now. As a shotgun by itself is so terrible. Well, after this, it'll probably end up being the highest DPS weapon, just watch, damage weapon. Just watch. That's how it goes, you know? Obviously, a lot of weapons can't just stand on their own. Garlic, much better for freezing builds, as I've demonstrated shortly. But, you know, I've also gone over it. The game is not the end, it's the beginning as well. That Fire Emblem Tierling, where if a character can hard carry you through the start, but falls off in the end, they're still good, they've still got use. So if Garlic gets you through the starting stages very easily, very safely, and for some characters that can be the most dangerous bit before they pop off their scaling, like say X-Dash or Toasty, if you don't want to go Divine Bloodline and Toasty like a lunatic. Then yeah, it's a valuable pickup and you should grab it. Ah, the pushback from the NFT is so large. And the boss got in because I was distracted with the pushback from the NFT. I think they got pretty surprisingly wide coverage. That's got HP times level, which is not good. Oh, dang it, the Atlantean got pushed in on me. Crud. Oh, it died right after, too. Ah, curse, of course, curse. Right here's Stage Killer Mark II. Using the original, Sprite's just miscolored. Wow, poor Type B has fallen behind. Now it's ahead. Now it's even. Now it's behind. Now it's behind. Well, C is just going to be doing all the work here regardless. Man. Well, I think Heart of Fire is actually going to be doing all the work here regardless. Granted, I don't know exactly how much... Ooh, I got hurt by something. What the... This isn't right. Are they completely immune to knockback? Well, if I go horizontal on them, why is the screen so empty? That chicken. What is going on? This is weird. I've never seen the screen this empty. Are they just getting shot off screen? Shot when they're off screen? No, I'm not getting any kills. I'm not getting any kills, even when I kill things. No, there's things going down. What is what is happening? They all concentrate on that point and forget to move? This is like if you had no charm or curse on. This is very odd. Okay. Uh, can I still kill you? Do you still count towards kills at this point? Okay, that's, that's way too laggy. Let's not crash the game. Yeah, prototype C did the most, B did nothing, and A was there. Art of Fire, 35.8k. That 
that does not make any sense whatsoever. I think the tracking on it is broken or something. Because there's no way with it activating as much as it should have that it should be doing that little damage. I think maybe it only triggers the retaliation damage notification, not the on-hit damage. Because 39.6 with how many explosions were going off. No, like even if it was doing single digit damage, there were more enemies than that on screen and they were not going to be getting one shotted by being hit by all three of these. I refuse to leave it, believe it did that little above base short gun and less DPS overall. There's got to be something wrong with its tracking. Anyway, that's Capella Magda done. One of the hardest stages. Stay tuned for the next one. It's going to be the Astral Stair. Okay, time for Lance Bean to climb up the Astral Stair. Shouldn't be too hard if even Capella Magna fell without that much trouble. Alright. Re-roll. Re-roll, re-roll, re-roll. Okay. Let's see what else I can pull off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just to do a comparison without fighting with Heart of Fire, just to see how it compares. Well, let's go beginning to power up Short Gun and show off how it would still be terrible. Oh, it can't actually do damage because they're in the weird blue phase, whatever. I just really don't know how that works. Kind of weird. Man, I'm weak without it. No chicken there. No chicken there. Hey, long gun. Now I actually have something that'll actually do anything. Oh, wait, no. They're the ones that are invincible. For whatever reason. Let's get out of there then. There we go. Actually, I need to grab this right away. Boy, is it going to accomplish nothing though. Like, oh my god. This is going to be the worst golden finger of all time. Cannot possibly think of a worse one. I'm not even going to get the silver. Yeah, I got stuck on bronze. That's horrible. Cherry, what? No. Why? Why would you give me that? Well, I guess bronze is basically pity mode. I was looking in the Ars Guda, and it turns out the portraits are actually really low health, but they have HP times level. So they have four base, and then HP times level. So with inverse, that's 12, and then 18, and then with inverse, or with level, well, they're at almost 3,600 right now. Well, long gun da or short gun damage is ah, kind of high, but still, it's terrible. It's a terrible weapon can't aim it. It doesn't do much pierce. Also, the portrait is the new sprite for Pugnala. You know, the one that despite being her new sprite wasn't used in the emergency meeting cutscene or announcement trailer. That was really weird. It's also not placed on the new sprite section like everyone else's. Place like it was the old sprite. Just kind of a weird setup. Kind of the same thing with Conchetta, whose new sprite is placed where the old one was. Or the new sprite is not the default one, like it is for, say, Antonio. Also, the old one just looks much better and more advanced. 
get kind of weirded out by that. But whatever. Like, seriously, her current. I think she has one of the best sprites in the game, Conchita. Also, Lance Bean is here. Yeah, it turns out maximizing cooldown and doing damage is a very good setup. Yeah, Lance, Lance is just dang strong with that cooldown reduction. 25 cooldown will help out anyone. Help out anyone in anything. Projectile speed's not so great, but minus 25 cooldown is insane. Plus special pickups, and that's a lot better than getting one more gold. Oh, hey. Oh, well, I'm gonna get bouncy stuff eventually. <laughs> Wait. Boy. Just not now, because the... Uh, what are they called? The poltergeists here or whatever? Haven't shown up yet. Yep. These are... the. Uh, these are called potrits. Haha. <laughs> I seriously have everything? Yeah, I do. Huh. Oh, didn't want to grab that. Uh, what, what is it called? They're not stage killers. They're not game killers. They're poltergeists, baby? No. You evolve, you do not evolve. That's bad. Really, I have to wait for 10 minutes on this stage for an evolution. Oh, man, look at how bad that damage is. I don't have a choice. Okay, maybe you'll evolve me. Hey, Pierce, that'll be extraordinarily helpful, honestly. Yeah, without being able to evolve early, there is an extraordinary weakness to this setup. And obviously, Heart of Fire would have helped immensely. Yep, you're still in there. And because of Starburst, I can't actually hit you. Man. Not like it's a lot of levels being spent on it, but still, that's more than it should be. And I can't stop moving. Long Gun's getting all the pierce. Oh wow, double chicken. Really a nice fort to retreat to. Please give me an evolution chest. Thank the nine. Hey, weapon pickup. Which one did I get? Oh, I got shotgun, didn't I? The most useless of them all. Still, I can hold out here. Because it has bouncy stuff, it's much better. It's still not great. Oh, crab battle, really? And Starburst. Why would it not be Starburst? Is that just innate to the map, or am I getting really hit hard with the random events here? I think I'm actually killing the crabs before I get out. Wow, that lasted forever. The long gun pierce is obviously going to be better. I just don't have anything to do with it. Grief, I went so far away. And I need chicken for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna definitely say that Heart of Fire isn't getting its damage tracked correctly. Just, that's too little. It definitely seems to have way too much effect. I know the damage isn't great, but 39.6, that's like. 
It was like, even if that 8 was it and not something else I was seeing at the end of Capella Magna, even if it was just that 8, there was no way it was only hitting four enemies with the fire shots. That doesn't make any sense. And of course, the best one of them all is not working. Yeah, like this is a durable wave, but I don't think it's worse than the final waves of Capella. Well, not like I really got a good shot of the Capella Magnum final waves. Oh, that's not good. And I got a circle. 20 minutes here, because Cosmic Egg has not spawned. Oh god, the bloody Starburst again. Just keeps showing up to... And Stalker. Yep. Well, hello Golden Finger. I will be grabbing you now, so I don't have to deal with Stalker. Wow, this is horrible. That was worse than with the other weapons. Yeah, just pure pity there. Oh, and the cosmic guy gets it. It's infinite corridor off. Hey, pet, nice. Man, I'm not even gonna get three evolutions or spread gun. I got hit again. That's just one cosmic egg, too. And I can't even stop to punch it because, ah, uh, bloody nine. Well, now I can. Got all the damage I can directly on the cosmic egg face while I'm invincible. And silver. Yay. Now I get my prototype. Random always, it doesn't matter at this point. I'm not going to win through anything. What? Oh, you're right. The strange cloaks. Of course, they only show up there. Not. It's not exactly a place I hole up in. Man, there's so much stuff in the way. Oh, don't want to grab that till the rest of the cosmic eggs show up. Want to chain them together. Well, that was unfortunate. I can get maybe get rid of this one early. Okay, it ended. Petting going. Wait, what? Oh, wait, they flew in from that way. Haha. <laughs> that makes more sense. Alright, wait for them to smash me. And grab the chicken, but no. Well, I've got two more revives, and they aren't going to fire off that much. Well, they are, but... It, it kind of doesn't matter. Yeah. Alrighty. And Prototype B did the most, just because it had so much more time, but C... It was there for all of a minute and a half. Did the most more damp DPS than them combined. It had almost reached prototype A level. Alrighty, that's one more down. Next time it's Carlo Kart. Okay, it's time for Alliance's final test over on Carlo Kart Madness. And I will have to be taking Heart of Fire here because, well, Chances of actually getting the evolutions are much, much lower because of the way the stage works. 
Oh, right, I don't have unlimited cash anymore. Well, I still do. It just takes a bit for it to come back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Weapon pick up, yay! Speed and power can't stop Lance Bane. Oh, missed it. Man, I didn't even see it. The mobs get so thick, so fast. But that's Carlo Kart for you. Also, it's not even like it matters that much. There's no way I'm going to get enough. Da -da -da. Laps. Oh, hey. Chest already. That was embarrassingly quick. No way I'm not going to get enough. I'm going to be even remotely close to getting enough laps. To do anything. Alrighty. Spread gun's the best, so spread gun it is. Yeah, I'm seeing like da -da 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 sixes. Well, dang, it's hard to tell which is which damage, you know? There's like fives and whatnot in there. I just don't believe that, you know, it's still hitting. It's still gonna be doing damage when I pump it out. Like, even if it's doing four, there's no way I'm not getting, like, eight, enough ten hits in with this at all times, basically. This wouldn't make any sense at all. And you know, it's not like they're... haven't messed up. Wait, no, you're just on a timer to leave. You don't take damage. You can see the explosion effect going off all the time. Even if it is just that single digit effect there. That's more... You know, that was six right there. And you know, it's going to be hitting more than just one target. It's going to be hitting a lot of targets at all times. Hey, chicken wave. Maybe if the map indicated which direction the boost pads were going to be. Oh. Oh, it was a boss. Wait. Oh, I do have shortgun maxed. Oh, I got the arcana at least. Ooh, nice. Well, getting the evolutions is not guaranteed, so with how risky things can be, I will be going awake. So even with five revives at base, and possibly seven at most, still could fall. Man. Also, I think that... Lapping here is messed up because, well, I've definitely gone over one of these chests and have not gotten the power up for doing a full lap. Right, still hasn't spread out, still hasn't moved. No, that's because it was actually perfectly online, perfectly flush with it. Oh, well, let's just charge on forward. Oh, there was a lap. Maybe it's, you have to do it in a certain amount of time or something. I know, it can be hard to do it, and inverse doesn't seem to make it worse, too. Hey, there's a spinach down there at the bottom, nice. Yep. Oh. There's another chest coming up. Alright, stick onto one of the boost pads. Or one of the tracks so I can get the boost if it does show up. Yep, yeah, that figures. Alright. It's gotta be coming up. It's still a bit far off. 
The map on here is not very helpful. And there's my stalker. And now I can't slow down. Oh boy. Yep, that's why I didn't get Iron Blue Will. I just knew something like this was going to happen over and over again. At least Stalker does less damage here. Make up for everything else. Oh, I should probably include one regular stage, one challenge stage, and one bonus stage in the description. That would be helpful. There's Drowner. Hey, a chest, yay. And it's prototype B time. So helpful, yeah. Oh. Come back here, Chess. I wonder if you get it. When I come here with Mask of the Red Death, I will be coming here with Mask of the Red Death. I refuse not to. I can actually get enough to counteract the innate... Ooh, that was a good clear. Let me see that chest. Get me my spread shot prototype C. I mean, I know it's why it's prototype C, but shouldn't it really be prototype S for spread shot? And prototype A? Well, that can just be base for a long gun. Wait, no. If it's prototype S, then it could get confused for a short gun, and no one would want that. Hey, a vacuum. Yay, levels. Pierce, sweet. Good old Pierce. Call me Hawkeye. And there's the A. The least valuable of them right now, but... Well, no, it's still fine. Oh, Pierce and I'm out. But Pierce on the long gun shots are better than a mount on short gun shots, which you can barely feel if any. They even exist. Wow, you caught up to me for some reason. Away with the Maddener, away with the... Well, don't need that chest, but still. Oh, that was a boss. No, you don't take damage. You do trigger the Heart of Fire procs on the hits, though. Because you're a model, that's still getting hit. You're just not taking any damage off it. it makes you stronger than Reaper in its own way. Well, time life. Or it's not time life. Oh. And not an amount or pierce among them. Anyway, seven revives. Really, again. Hey, more pierce, nice. Just grabbing whatever, unless it's pierce or amount. They're just way too valuable for these guns. It's actually kind of incredible how much you need them. Yeah. Look at that just wave of destruction after just a few levels of it being added on. Pretty incredible. Alright, I should stay near the top to get any vacuums or anything that spawn in. I got the wave clear to hit the bottom. Oh, well, not like I could really sit on that. Look at them gems, just barely getting along. Oh, now all the brothers are here. Hmm. Alright, yeah, should be a clear and easy and breezy to the end in a few seconds. Wait, no, I haven't seen the Tribe Blunder Wave yet. Wait, did it, did it seriously get removed? Or am I just forgetting? Yeah, the prototype A actually did the most. And it was there for less time. Weird. Yeah, I kind of refuse to leave. 76.4. Like, there's hundreds of enemies on screen. Even if it was doing, like, the lowest damage I saw was 4 at the start. And there's no way it's not hitting 20 enemies at a time. Something's broken with the counter. You know, there are other weapons that are broken like that. that I know for sure. You know, some other things haven't been fixed, like the scrolling on console.
But well, that's for next time. Lance Bean has successfully conquered three more stages on the Beswick. And with a very successful runs, Lance Bean has taken us up to 304. 305. And 306 on the Beswick. That's not where you belong. Anyway, that was pretty simple. Next up's going to be Lance Bean finishing off the Operation Guns characters for a very long time. As then we go back to normal characters for getting the rest of the Beswickin done. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the content. And if you did, like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. How do you think Heart of Fire works? I think it's broken. Either way, I hope you have a good day, and you keep messing around in some Vampire Survivors Beswick.